The Jeff Matika Show. The Jeff Matika Show. Say, starring Jeff Matika. Starring Jeff Matika. Who's Jeff Matika? <laughs> Gentlemen, the Jeff Matika Show featuring Jeff Matika. You might have seen today's guest wolfing down some comfort food at Rudy's Can't Fail Cafe. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mike Dirk. <laughs> White Wolf, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing today? I'm waking up. It's a good afternoon. What you got there? Good day to die. Cup of Joe? <laughs> yeah, cup of Pete's coffee, just like we serve at Rudy's Can't Fail Cafe. Oh, baby, yeah! And it Two locations. <laughs> so, how long do you plan to torture us with these long hashtags on Instagram? <laughs> So somebody asked me why you put such long hashtags. I think it's because my hashtags are so important they own, they deserve their own space in the interweb. That's what you're gonna go with. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. What's your favorite song to play on the uh, 99 Revolutions tour? Lately, King for a Day. It's getting to the point of the tour where we've lost more than our minds. I think some of us have lost our underwear, our minds. I think I even lost a couple tattoos. Ah! Trey's pretty sexy. Ah! <laughs> Why do you think you and Billy connect so well? Like, what is it that ties you together for so many years? Lack of ability to do anything else better. <laughs> I think, no, I don't know. I just, uh... I think it's the greater good. Music, really, just songs. I think um, we've been doing this for so long, it's, I, at this point we want to see it through, you know? <laughs> I, I want to see just how much great music we can make and just how many more great adventures we can go on. And, and uh, let me, uh... What has been the most fun you've had with your kids? What's the most fun you've had on tour with your kids? The most fun. I think some of the most fun's been on stage watching Brixton just pulverize somebody with a squirt gun from stage when Billy called him out on stage. He, he, uh, he said, spray the crowd. And Brixton took it as, um, I should just annihilate the one person I see in front of me in the front row. That was pretty hilarious. Yeah. The kid's got no fear. No, no. Um, it's a... It's, uh, uh, that, unfortunately, that's that's a trait that probably is hereditary. <laughs> you be first, 3CPO or I2D2? R2D2 or C3PO? I'm gonna go with, you know, I'm gonna go with uh, C3PO just because the language thing is pretty hot, and and he had a, you know chicks like the accent. He kind of walked with a limp. We know why. If you weren't a member of Green Day, what would your dream job be? Vacuum salesman? <laughs> or like a car salesman? I guess that's maybe that's what my guidance counselor told me I'd be good at when I was a kid. <laughs> so maybe I gotta go back and try it. Yeah, you're gonna need that true coat. <laughs> you know, you're gonna want that underlining. How many pets do you have? How many pets do you have? Well, let me see. Um, we have two cattle dogs, we have Bowie, we have Haas, and we have uh, four fish, Spotty and the Flipper Gang. <laughs> Flipper Gang. There's three of them. It's a Flipper, it's a flipper Gang. Why do, they, do they have their own names? They do not have their own names. Well, that's, 
That's real. That's it's animal cruelty. It's, no, it's not. No, it's not, man. They don't even have. Safety, they don't even know who they are. Safety in numbers. Safety in numbers. I'm just saying. The Flipper Gang and Spotty's bigger than all of the Flipper Gang. They needed to like have safety. We've mentioned Rudy's Can't Fail several times, so let's mention it again. Um, how involved with you in the menu, and uh, do you like to get in the kitchen and? Uh... Well, I, no, I, I occasionally I'll go into uh, the kitchen and create something um, horrible. <laughs> I don't work there necessarily. I'm really involved in the, the making of the tables, which was kind of my my big idea on that one. We sink all sorts of our different collections of things that we have, odds and ends and stuff, into the tables in a, in a resin. I wanted to have a lot of interesting stuff to look at at the restaurant, but I didn't want it hanging on the walls getting dusty. That, the sound system, and then a little bit of a little bit of the menu. We have a drink called the Pressure Drop that I uh, I uh, came up with. It's a shot of pizza espresso and Guinness in it. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. And then Jason White, actually, uh, um, he came up with a great name for a drink, so we created a drink around the name he created, which is called uh, Tequila Mockingbird. Oh, baby, yeah! I cannot tell you what's in it other than tequila. Uh -huh. I love the truck. What's your number one recipe? Do you like to uh, cook at home? And if so, what's your favorite recipe? I like to cook at home. Uh, my wife and I uh, will cook quite a bit together, but my cooking has diminished as my wife's cooking has gotten to be really good. Uh, <laughs> I do make a pretty mean uh, Cajun Hawaiian ahi burger. Um, that, that's pretty good. Uh, we do really good veggie tacos all the time. And, and like any good dad, you gotta know how to kill a breakfast. And I make a really good like Spanish omelet you do that, or do pain, you know, funny face pancakes for the kids at night sometimes. <laughs> Breakfast for dinner. Yeah. It's the most important meal of the day. It gets them ready for tour. <laughs> and sometimes we just feed the kids chips, because that's all they'll eat. Aww. I think kids nowadays, like, if you're two years old, all you want is, like, salt and a bottle. Like a cow. <laughs> like, like you an, just give him a salt lick. Like an Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a pint and some, and some crisps. <laughs> What's your favorite cereal? What's your favorite kind of cereal? Oh, um, well, being one of the infamous serial killers gang on tour, lately, oh man, it's been tough because Fruity Pebbles has been at the top of my list for a long time, but I've been in Europe where they don't have the same sort of cereals. Uh, the Cocoa Crisps out here are quite good. So it's kind of like you have all these different cereals, but then there's always the constant you have to go back to that like resets your palate for the, for the other ones. Uh, Frosted Flakes will always reset your palate, you know, but then I gotta have my pops. You gotta have your pops. Yeah, and then there's some times where I just want Sugar Smacks. Or, uh, I'm sorry. I actually had a good bowl of Cookie Crisps the other day. You know, I found the, uh, the European Fruit Loops, sir. You know, they just... They don't hold up. Yeah, they don't have... It's like they're against mm. corn syrup and Red 40 or something. I don't know. Like, apparently, they haven't heard the adage, it, whatever doesn't kill you just makes you stronger. There's no such thing as healthy sugared cereal. Yes, there is. I nut Cheerios. That's not healthy. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It makes you, well, you think it's healthy. You need to talk to my mom, then. You do need to talk to his mom. <laughs> well, you got yeah, well... Your mom wrote a book and you didn't read it. <laughs> yeah, true story. White Wolf's mother wrote a book. It's got nearly perfect reviews on Amazon.com and he has yet to open the book up. Yeah, but he reads the back of the Honey Nut Cheerios box. Come on now. <laughs> I don't read. Once it comes out in a pop-up version, or a Cliff Notes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll read it to you at bedtime. What's the thoughts on you said a green day saves your life? How do you feel when someone says, Green Day saved my life? I feel as though the weight of the world has been lifted off of their shoulders. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot to say. All right. I was hoping you'd say, I feel like a paramedic. <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't know about saving lives. That's not what I got into this for. <laughs> oh, baby, yeah! <laughs>